In the late 1990s, I was playing a practice round with Paul Azinger in Hartford at TPC Cromwell. And we both got in the bunker on the sixth hole. And I said, Paul, I'm struggling with my bunker game. He said, I can help you. And basically, this is what he told me. He said, Larry, get the ball more forward in your stance. Get your hands back and release the club. And let the club go by your left arm. And you can see here at impact that I'm matching that address shaft lean in that nice window about two or three inches past impact. But after that, there is the release, and it's gone. So if you've got to have a good lie to do this in the grass or in the bunker. But you can see that the setup, ball forward, hands back, and then the release. There's a lot of talk about pulling the handle, turning the body, and keeping the club face open. But if you really look at this, you can see here I'm hitting a short, I call it a short bunker shot with the ball forward and the stance more open. But you can see as I come in, there's the release of the club. So the, the club face is not staying open. With any speed in the club head, it's not going to stay open. It, it, the, hand, the club face is going to rotate. And so a lot of people are struggling with the bunkers because they're trying to turn and hold the club face open. And that just doesn't work, and that's really not what happens. Here I am in the grass now. Same thing, ball forward, hands back. I could have them back a little more if I wanted to really flop it. But you can see as I come in, the weight shifts. I'm going to match that address shaft lane. One frame past impact. And then we're going to see the club head gone. We're letting the club go. This is the way this looks from this angle. So the big thing is once you get set up correctly, it's about the release. It's about using the hands to let the club head pass the lead arm. And then when that happens, the club face does rotate and work right up the plane. And then if we look at this shot from this angle, you can see the club gets up, there's the club planing, and then there's the club releasing as it goes by the lead arm. And three other important things, which really releases number three there, so you can see that that is already there. That is the third thing in Paul's lesson with me. But number one is we have to have our weight in our front foot at impact. I see this mistake all day long with amateurs. So you've got to have your weight in your left foot at impact. Two, that allows you to hit down. And then three, you've got to release it. I hope this video helps your game. And for more information, please visit my website, LarryRinker.com.